Ooh, ooh, what have we got going on here? Something rather groovy. Greetings, people of the interwebbing type folks. Um, here you join me, having removed these things from Henrietta's wheels. Um, I don't know why, I thought these these would be metal, but they're not the plastic. So, what I'm looking to do today, because, oh, it's all on a wonk, whatever. Um, <clears throat> the uh, the colours appeared for uh, Henrietta's wheels today. Uh, so, I've done two things. I'm, I've, I've primed up a bit of cardboard. I'm just going to, when that's dried, just going to spray some of the colour on it, just to see what it's like. Um, and the second thing is I want to remove the MG badges of these centre caps. So I'm not entirely certain what I'm going to put in the plate in its place yet. I don't think I'm going to put MG badges. I think I'm going to do something different. But what that other different thing is, I'm not sure. So let's see if we can get these badges off without much uh, much trouble. I'd rather I'd rather be able to take them off without wrecking them. I need some little that'll get in that slot. Welcome to Bodge Land. I mean, this is a small screwdriver. Look how thick that <laughs> look how thick that tip is. Ooh, missus. Um. I'm sure I had something more suitable. I've got a mirror. Look. Oh, you can see you, Sen. Uh, that's no, that's no use, though, is it? What am I on about? I have literally no idea what I'm doing today. Hmm. It's an exhaust puller. See what we've got on the the magical trolley of, uh, of of magic, maybe. We've normally got some random bits of something on here. Oh, is that ceramic stuff? I forgot about that. They come from random. Oh, there they, there's them things. I bought a million billion uh, Posi Drive number twos uh, of the month because they're the ones that always go missing. And this time the whole box went missing. Right, let's have a look. In fact, we've got three Stanley knives here. Let's see which is the, uh, the crappiest bladed one. Oh, we'll go for this one. Oh. Hmm. I don't want to break any of this. Plastic thing out of the uh, out of the body filler. <sighs> well, old trusty go-to plastic thing out of the body filler that might work. In fact, this one might work better because it's. Oh, it does smell nice. Body don't body filler smell nice. I don't know why I'm looking at you. You can't see me, can you? Oh, 
Right, let's clean this up a bit and then let's have a go with this. Oh, Simone's got a video premiere in tonight, hasn't she, about the, uh, the engine mounts on TC. Time's at half seven, I think. I don't think it's half seven yet. I'm sure it's only like... Well, tipping point on plus one we're just going off, so that makes it six, I think. So we've got a bit of time. Right then, you little buggers. Them up when these comes off. Come, when these comes off, um, there's a nice flat panel behind it that I can do some work with. And if we can peel it off with some pliers, which were around here somewhere before, really need to tidy this shit up. Oh, there's another Stanley knife there, blooming it, we've got, got a collection of Stanley needs. Is there all, what's that? Some cut metal cutters. What's in this one? See, I've got loads of old toolboxes and stuff. Here we go. Julie's granddad's toolbox to the rescue again. There's even a plug spanner in there, I forgot. I'd got. Right, let's try it with this. Uh... Oh, here we go. Ow. God, they're uncomfy. Ha <laughs> One down. And uh, we've got an ice cream cone made out of crap metal. Right, put this put this back down there. You know this is where I'll find them span at uh, them pliers. They'll just appear. Well oh, did you need me? That kind of thing. My plan is to not have MG on them, but to uh, figure out a Rover emblem onto them somehow. But I'm not entirely certain how yet. Because I don't know if you can get um, badges a size that will not look silly or dwarfed on them on them things I might I might do my own sort of rover thing I could even do a rover in a half circle maybe hmm. Right, that's all four of them off. So we've got four bits of junk and four other bits of junk. That bloody wheel's in my way. You go it, Bin. You stay where you are there, wheel. Uh, um, now then. That pops up like that, and that pulls out like that. We 
which I'll show you again in a sec. In case you don't know what I'm doing, I've, I've got a razor blade and I'm just going round the centre of these to get rid of all this adhesive that's that's on there. Because my idea is to have this as a as a nice clean clean area. So then whatever I put on there, it doesn't have to cover the whole thing. Um, that's that's the idea anyway. That kind of gives you an idea, doesn't it? But yeah, there's like a, a bit of a, a dimple in the middle there. So it might be a case of... It's tricky because if I end up putting numbers on there, then you're going to obviously be able to see the middle. So we, don't, we need to get rid of that by filling it. But if I'm going to stick something over the top of it, then we don't need to fill it because it'll get covered up. Hmm, maybe that's a decision for a different day. Maybe it's just a, you know, maybe it's just a case of cleaning them up today, flattening them off, ready to when all the other bits and pieces arrive. So I've got the, I've got the colour, uh, but the. The primer hasn't arrived yet, so I'm a bit a bit stuck waiting for that. Well, I've not. I've got other primers, but uh, so yeah, I'll not. So I'll, I'll not film me taking the look off this bit. Um, I'll come back when I'm flattening them off or something. Yes. Welcome back. Um, so as you can see, I have cleaned up all four, and I've just just uh, just painted. No, that's not what I've done. I've just put some panel wipe into into the dish of each of them just to see if it'll do anything with that glue that's still in there. So as I say, like the idea is, I want that to be to be flat. I think I'll probably end up filling them and little dimples because uh, I say I'm not sure how I'm gonna. How I'm going to progress with that bit. I can get some little rover badges, but I think they'll just get swamped in whatever's there. Hmm. I'll have to uh, research what's available. And they don't have to be super serious, do they? They don't have to be super serious. Um, I've just I've just sprayed a bit of the wheel colour onto. A bit of cardboard outside and uh, it looks all right uh, so obviously it's difficult to tell one one coat but it looks like it's going to be about what I wanted and then I've got some some other top coat to put on um, before the gloss bit so uh, yeah there's plenty plenty of fun on there let's see what this is doing I might try putting some primer on these actually just see what it if it, if it does all on there. In fact I should try sanding them first, shouldn't I? Mm. Can't tell whether that's any better. These wheels actually look alright without them these on it's just the the, uh, the wheel bolts that let them down fancy putting some of them cool uh, big long tuna ones on but I know they're generally unless you're paying a fortune they've made a crap metal and they snap which is not what I want should we see what some sandpaper does sandpaper Sorry, Margaret. Well, there's a there's a screw missing out of Margaret's uh, bumper um, that I need to find a suitable replacement for. Right, eight hundred quid. What's this one? One fifty. Let's have a go with this. See what we get. If 
flatten them off with it. You're roughed up now. This must be very boring, so I'm going to stop filming. Well, I flatten off that other one. And we're back. So, as you can see, flattened these off, roughed them up a bit, just gone over them with panel wipes, so that's just drained now. But they're kind of more matte than anything. Uh, I think that's a good enough keen area. I'm just going to use some some random filler to fill them middle bits in. It should it should be all right because well, I've not done that one ever very well. Because it's a recess, so it's got support on all sides. Well, it might not stick, that's the thing. Should I try and get that out a bit more? Oh, top colour, top coat update. I've just put some more, another another thick coat of uh, colour on top of that, a bit of cardboard to see what colour bronze it is. Uh, see what colour it is. Edit that out. And, um, yeah, it's coming up alright, so I'm quite happy with that. Oh, everything always falls off there. On to poor old Margaret. Right, this is the stuff. I'm thinking. I think I'm seeing all red. Two bullets in the gun, one shot to the head. I need a blank space. Everything is a threat, but I never back. Uh, then it might be worth you. Where have I put that? So I'm thinking if I just put a dollop of this putty in here and just flatten it off with this. As long as it's not a dimple, it should be alright. Now if I can get the top off it. Oh my days, what's going on? Get rid of that bit. It's all pink like Gavi's gone. Yeah, I'll put you in there. One done, two done, three done, four done. Oh my ideas. So if you see all I've done is just put a blob in there to flatten that dimple bit out. So we'll leave that for tonight. Um, then it'll be good and hard tomorrow. Oh blimey. Um, it'll be good and hard tomorrow and then we can flatten that back and then get some primer on it and see what it looks like from there then so if we measure through the the middle of that circle there eight eight centimeters in diameter uh, so that kind of gives us an idea of what, what sort of size we're, we're looking for if we if we get any sticker things I have to do some research. I don't want to just go for plain rover badges. Yeah, I'll do some research. So, yeah, part one of um, the wheels video or uh, the first part of the wheels video. I don't know whether I'm going to do it in loads of separate ones or one big chunk one at end. Uh, but uh, 
yeah whatever part that is that's that bit done and uh, I shall grab you later like this Arr, grab uh, take care bye bye